So I've tried every DJ app for iOS so you don't have to. And in this video, I'm going to give you an honest review of the Pioneer Wii DJ software. When you first launch the software, you are going to get a message asking you what controller would you like to use. And you only got two options. Number one is the Pioneer DDJ200 Bluetooth controller or the Pioneer Wii we go four, which was one of my favorite controllers. And I used to have, I just didn't, I sold it before I moved. So I don't have it anymore, but I wish I do. But those are the only two controllers you could currently use compared to other softwares where you could use a lot more. So this is what the software is going to look like. And this is our only view mode. If you're used to using DJ pro where you get all these different view modes, you don't have that in this software. So we have one jog wheel here one jog wheel there i'm just gonna kind of go in a clockwise rotation show you everything you could do with this software so starting with the jog wheel these are active jog wheels you could use them to to scratch and overall they feel really good compared to other dj softwares a little more sensitive than i would like but still pretty good now we have our temporary Q button. Wherever you select, that's where your Q button is going to be. The next one is our play pause, obviously. And you have to have a sync button. So sync button is over here. We get a slip mode right there on the main, on right there. I haven't really seen this feature because I don't think it's a very popular feature. So I don't know why it would be that big on the software, but it is. So with that on, you could scratch and manipulate the jog wheels without losing your place in the song. It's a good feature for scratching. Next is over here. So if you want to get to all of your features, we're going to press this. And this is similar to DJ Pro Classic Mode or other softwares like Cross DJ or EDJ Mix. When you, in order to use your features, you lose your jog wheel. So you can't have these features open while you're using the jog wheel, which is kind of limiting, but a lot of softwares are like that that don't have separate view modes. So starting here, we have a mixer. We have the channel volume, regular mixer, and then we have a gain. I'm surprised that there is no filter. Most modern DJ softwares would include the filter in the EQs, but this one does not. Next, we have hot cues. You could do up to eight hot cues and they give you random colors and then letters. So there is no edit button that I see that I don't think you could name them or select the color, but we do get cue points, which are really important. It's just a little bit better to be able to name them and choose your color. Auto loop. From uh, one and one and one sixteenth all the way up to eight beats. Not bad. Good to have auto loops in the software. So we got those manual loops in and out times two. You could half it manual loops if you you know what that does. Next is combo effects. This is an effects pad. So it is going to apply an effect with a filter. So we have echo. And then it also has a hold button so you can leave it there. Pretty good way of using your effects. And then how do we change the effects? We press this edit button down here. And then now we could change the effect. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight effects. I think you could buy more. I'm gonna talk about what you could purchase later. And then we could change the filter to different noise effects like jet, noise, pitch, stuff like that. Pretty cool that we could have two effects at the same time with this pad. I haven't really seen that in other softwares. And then we have pad effects. So these will put an effect just by pressing the pad if you hold it in. And then we could choose whichever effect. So yeah, there are some more effects over there. So you could change your effect, choose whichever effect you're going to use, and then put it in whichever box you want. And then the last one is to close this box. So there we go. 
our BPM, we get a, there is no BPM that is standardly on the software, which I haven't seen that. Most DJ softwares have BPM because it's pretty important. But if you want to change the BPM, you press this. You could change it manually like this. You could set a key lock. You could speed up and slow down the, the track a little bit. And then here you could tap in the BPM or have a slider. Pretty cool. To add music, you press right here where it says the title of the song. So you're going to press that. And then now our music sources are down here. These are our music sources. So we have music that's on your device, Beatport and SoundCloud. So it does feature streaming services. So you can mix with millions of songs if you have these streaming services. So pretty good in the sources. We could create new playlists, which are important. See our history, suggestion, and our recordings. And if you want to record, it's this button here to start a recording, that button to stop a recording. So now we have the job view view. So I guess it is a different view mode. If you press this, you could get horizontal waveforms. The waveforms look nice, but the thing is, there's no way to see your jog wheels and your waveforms at the same time, which is kind of limiting, but not the biggest deal in the world. Or you can do vertical waveforms if you're more used to that. And it marks the intro and the chorus, which is pretty cool. But I'd probably leave it on jog wheels because I like jog wheels. We do get an auto mix feature, but that is something that you have to pay for. And I'll let you know the price in a little bit. So these are active waveforms. You can't scratch with them, but you could scrub through the track. That's how this part of most apps is. Like in DJ Pro, it's the same. Up here, we get our levels. Pretty cool. For async, I think you have to pay for that one. And now, um, let's see. Audio. You could split the output for pre queuing That's what I was checking for. That's pretty cool. So you could use headphones with just your phone or your iPad. I like how it shows your battery life over there. That's pretty cool. I wish more DJ softwares would include that because if you run out of battery power, then not really good. So if we go to store, you could buy Hot Q Sync, $399, Advanced Auto Mix, $399, Transition Effects Pack, 9.99 a couple of different mixes you can listen to them or you could buy them all for a one-time purchase of 14.99 so it doesn't look like this is a subscription which a lot of people don't really like the subscription model so overall this is a pretty good dj app you could dj you could dj with gigs if you have one of those two controllers and if you guys want to see my list of the best dj softwares for the ipad check out this video over here thank you